the radioactive music, um, there are some colleagues of mine in geology that did the exact same thing with Milankovitch cycles that uh, yeah. are reflected in deposits. Uh -huh. So they translated it also to music, which yeah, you can also call, call it a little bit nerd <laughs> activity. Yeah, so, but I it's know. cool. I, I really liked the music when I came down here. When we huh? did the research, we found that it was a quite recent project where they did uh, um, the radiation from the sun. They had some satellite up and, and, mm. and they took the radiation from the sun and they transferred that into music. Uh, and, and there's quite a lot of projects that huh. uh, translate uh, numbers or uh, boring or nerdy <laughs> matrix <laughs> numbers Information. In, yeah. into something else. Yeah. And I actually got contacted by a Japanese uh, creative company who wanted to do a uh, uh, installation in Fukushima. Instead of telling the, 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 the people living in the area of what radiation situation looks today, mm. try to e explain that with music and with light instead. Wow, that uh, is a very... Yeah, that's... Yeah. that's nothing great. happened uh, further with some emails back and forth, uh -huh. but the idea, I really like the idea to... Uh, to uh, it's a universal language to have mu music, music yeah. and... Uh, I well, mean, radiation I, I, is very hard to grasp, I think, yeah. for, for people. They know it's dangerous, but you can smell it, you can see yeah. it, but you know you should probably not go there and, uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. I, I think this this whole idea of, of uh, uh, elaborating with sounds and, and nature and all of that is, is something that you can also see now in the apps for, for iPhone. My son has actually downloaded quite a few apps with music where you can create your own music just by, you know, your yeah. hand or mm. your, your voice Motions. or putting. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's kind of, to me, it's a new world, mm -hmm. but it, it's kind of interesting that, that you, because you, you, you put together so many different uh, senses and, and um, uh, yeah. competences or whatever. At yeah. the same time, w makes it more complex and more interesting. I think. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that we're going to see mo much more of of using uh, using senses like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw a documentary the other day of where, where they had a, a, a robot hand in New York and, and a human hand, a human hand in a glove in London, mm -hmm. which controlled uh, the robot hand in New York. And when he, when he grabbed the, a Coke bottle, mm. he could actually feel it. He grabbed the Coke bottle wow. in New York, but he could feel how it, how the it resistance. felt. Yeah. The resistance yeah. and the weight and stuff on the other side of the globe. So that's actually one point that he was making, uh, the, the Miller guy, yeah. uh, where he was talking about uh, it, it's, it, it's so, it's, uh, we're getting so much more connected today. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And that is, I think, it's a, it's a big transformation for the yeah. entire energy system as well, yeah. that you want to, you have an information flow. The energy system of today is still built in this cathedral way or mm -hmm. the top-down method. Yeah. You produce a lot of electricity in one place and then you send it out in the net mm -hmm. until it reaches the consumers. Yeah. But in the net that we're seeing that is all evolving already today, there's a lot of the more... Reverse. Yeah, yeah. The reverse. Yeah. Yeah. You're having prosumers or whatever you want to call those new category mm. of people that produce their own energy yeah. and they want to have the possibility of feeding their electricity surplus into the net. So what you're saying is that mm. we are getting more and more individualized somehow and then the, in, the individuals are connecting, not the other way around. Yeah. Which so is quite interesting, yeah. Yeah, very I interesting. Very interesting. This yeah. cathedral yeah. thing and coming more to this distributed generation yeah. which, which resembles more the bazaar rather yeah. than the top-down approach. Yeah. Mm. And isn't that how society is in general for us? I mean, it's getting to be that way mm. with, I think, actually, the, uh, the internet being the enabler for us to think different, to do, to, to do different things yeah. and to, uh, you know... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, it's quite interesting because there are some... Uh, um, when you think back, there are some inventions that have really made a different different impact in our lives. And I think that the car, as far as I'm concerned, is one thing that has really turned our society upside down. You don't have small stores, small stores anymore. You have big stores and you, you know, you get more urbanized and all of that. Yeah. And, and the next thing that is in my world, the, the big, big thing is Internet took years before it really caught on but now I, I look at my 
23-year-old son and I see how he can much more than I uh, utilize this and to, to make it part of his life, part of his, his studying with his friends using Dropbox. Yeah. You know, they yeah. share yeah, things yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah. They never write anything on paper. No. They just use Dropbox. And I think this is kind of, you know, that this it's going to have such a big impact. N not well, one part is yeah, the energy, uh, which is very interesting. Yeah, I think also like uh, Andreas, my colleague, is an uh, artist. And if, if, if you look at just pure art scene, you also have the, the inspiration is, is direct and worldwide yeah. if someone do something yeah. new that is really wow effect mm -hmm. the, uh, the next day millions have seen it and millions do, do the same yeah. thing at the home backyard and that's the really and powerful and what's, and what's happening with the connectivity is that you have the technological people that think of function and come up with the most functional things and he was talking about that make people want it or inspired by people it was his slogan yeah. it's very true yeah. because What's happening now with the connectivity, the distance between a completely artist and the technology person, is they're coming closer now. They're easier to communicate with them, yeah. with, between them, to do projects. And uh, we were out at this um, duck center in Shista Science Center yesterday, where it is a digital art center, but they're trying to bring these worlds together, physically there, but also online, and, and, and make artists come up with creativity, other ideas for materials and stuff like that. And that's also the connectivity spin-off, I think. Yeah. That's yeah. Gonna, it's going to be more and more and more. And that's what we are experiencing, that we actually can... This is our job now, to connect people, help people connect people. We connect people for new outcomes that... Is that right? Yeah. yeah. That, that's your, ma your, that your do, main... That's right. no, if, yeah. if we look what we actually do, is that's what we're doing. Yeah. What we're doing uh -huh. now is another project with connecting... Um, child book illustrator with the graffiti people with uh, other people to redesign wow. a museum you know yeah. like that wouldn't happen uh -huh. some time ago huh and uh, and we're doing so yes in a way that's w part of what we're doing so and also what you can do i i was i <coughs> i went online the other night just to uh look at youtube i do that every now and then just yeah. to see you know what's out there and um I'm just Where do you um, start? <laughs> <laughs> Where do I start? You I just write A, yeah. enter. And yeah, <laughs> and well, it, actually, B. you got the top <laughs> 25, <laughs> whatever, and I start there. And yeah. I always see the baby who has yeah. been there now for, for months. A couple, years, yeah, a couple yeah. years. Yeah. I skip the baby and I go to other things. Mm. But um, I, I, I right now can't remember what the, the clip was all about. But it was a kind of a trivial clip. But 1.5 million people had seen it in the last, yeah. what, six months? And I'm thinking, wow, this is the new way of spreading the word. Yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely. And I, I also hear, keep hearing these stories about people, you know, uh, getting, like this, this Bieber guy, that, that's uh, an artist from Canada, yeah. a little guy that knows how to that's sing. True. And he, his mother puts the clip out on, on, on YouTube, and now he's famous because somebody just, you know, picked him up. Yeah. That wouldn't have happened before. Yeah. And I think this is this is also something that that should be possible for to really uh, demonstrate what you two guys are doing. Yeah, uh, it's easier to to build probably on on something, uh, mm -hmm. build a thread That's somehow. Yeah. This will be interesting it to see it, how you change the energy system by yeah. bringing in new ideas mm -hmm. and not get stuck in this. That what you mentioned this device that could measure your uh, energy consumption in a house mm. it's probably very good and and maybe some useful but who, who's going to buy it if it has a return rate for of 10 years that you can yeah. save it is very abstract yeah. and people rather but go for the new refrigerator and oh. for for companies to start thinking in new ways mm -hmm. so who I leads the innovation who leads the innovation yeah. yeah this design guy said you know it's the the, the individual the people that leads the innovation yeah, yeah. i'd like to to think that that's actually the new era uh, it's not the technical yeah. people the yeah. engineers and stuff i have the uh, comment on on the monitoring thing on the what? On the what? Uh, the, the energy monitoring. Yeah, yeah. 
Ah, okay. I have friends yeah. who drive uh, Prius, Toyota Prius. You know, they have a half uh, <laughs> hybrid screen? engine. Yeah. Yeah. They have the screen where they where it's Four always wheels. count the, yeah. the amount of energy. You see it in the taxis, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Which and is a complete uh, bizarre yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. You have no idea why it is doing. Mm. <laughs> but people who drive it, it, it they come to it's, conscious. Yeah. yeah, conscious, and it, there's like a competition. If they don't in a hurry, yeah. they go like, okay, how how less energy can I go? And they try to Le compete oh, with themselves. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. A, a energy efficient competition, kind of. Yeah. Is that like with, with a Toyota car? Well, I do what? it myself too, the just hybrid, running with my normal car. car. I try to see how far I can go before I have to refill it, you know? <laughs> 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 oh, that's wonderful. It's a lot and of, you're one of the, yeah, one of the competitive. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got issues. Yeah. <laughs> I don't compete how far I can go. I shouldn't get that yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. No. So, what, what about the 30 day uh, <clears throat> the, the challenge? I love have, that have idea. You, I, love I think that it's idea. a great yeah. idea. Yeah. Have, have you, do you have a dream that you would like to fulfill in 30 days? I'm doing it right now. Oh, you are? I, I'm starting running, yeah, jogging. I haven't moved for 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. this month uh, is like, uh, my goal is to do one sweet 10K. And I'm reaching it. Really? But that's not a 30 day goal. Maybe, yeah, I'll say. I take one day as it, as it comes. But I think it's a good day. It's a good thing because yeah, a lot of people yeah. are really uninspired and maybe don't try new things. Yeah. And we, you have to get new impressions. Mm -hmm to uh, appreciate and develop and uh, be stimul st stimulized. Stimu yeah. yeah, I think it's really important. Like he said, like he could start remembering days and weeks. It's actually important to have things to look back on and remember to feel time and feel evolution. You know, so I think it's a really good way and it would probably work for a lot of people. Yeah. You know what I like very much about it? His last sentence yeah. where he says that, you know, it's the very, very small yeah. steps yeah. that makes yeah. it sustain, yeah. Yeah. makes yeah. it sustainable. Because I think we lose that very often. You know, we talk about when we talk about innovations, we talk about radical innovations. Mm. We talk we're about, talking you know, about the Kilimanjaro oh, no, no, no. project. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. It, it's right. Really yeah. something that we put up, and not like, okay, we stop watching television for a month or something. Yeah. It's really a small yeah. thing. Yeah, it's true. So uh, I think this, if you want to make it sustainable and the thing that sticks, then it should be rather small steps, but the decision that you really should do something for yeah. 30 days in a row and if you combine and them, yeah exactly yeah. and the, 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 the greatest thing probably is if you can combine it if you have a vision where you say I'm gonna put the man on the moon which was a great vision in yeah. the 60s and then you you know yeah. but you you could connect the things dime. that <laughs> people trying things together could contribute yeah. together that if we save uh, something every day for 30 days us for and that and that what we are saving could actually be a, we could enjoy the result together in something else probably yeah. Yeah. just connect like the novel thing like they're probably building a library building a setting up a platform and they're, yeah. they're, 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 they're actually doing yeah. it so even if it's small like you're saying since we're so connected it just need a couple of percent actually feels the way oh too God. and then you do a lot of things together how, how far away do you think the smart grid is from from being really uh uh, I mean, I don't really, really understand <laughs> the, the, the smart well, the, grid. To me, uh, as, as a layman, when mm -hmm. it comes to uh, energy and things like that, I, I've understood it as, you know, <clears throat> using the, uh, the internet uh, or, or the, the uh, yeah, well, the, uh, everything you could do with the internet and computers and stuff to make um, uh, the energy consumption more individualistic. I mean, yeah. you can... You can uh, um, uh, have an impact yourself by measuring everything and uh, connect it to and your, yeah. customize it. Yes, but it's also um, if you're looking at smart grids as a concept, it is very individual what people perceive and yeah. think about what is a smart grid for me. Mm -hmm. There is no common definition what a smart grid is, and many people oh. I think still think it is a complete new way of uh, building infrastructure and so on, but. What we think it is more a platform for distributing electricity in different directions. What I told yeah. you before, it's not coming from one big nuclear power plant or coal-fired power plant down to the consumers, but we're having wind farms, we're having solar cells somewhere else in the system, and you could connect all those yeah. energy sources. And maybe even in the future, you're having uh, electrical vehicles. They're having electric. electric vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. They're having batteries, and batteries are a great form of storing electricity yeah. or energy. And if you 
connect your household to this. You can even use this electricity for your household, and you can disconnect yeah. from the yeah. from the the, the the outside grid, so to say. So there's still that's what I understood. I, I, I visited Silicon Valley last year, and and uh, one of the things that was you know high top priority was smart grid, and I was you know smart grid. What is yeah. that? And they said that this this is something that they hope and think will be the next um, <coughs> revolution or, or hype or whatever in Silicon Valley. Because, I mean, who's interested in developing computers anymore? Or yeah. I mean, software? Well, there's a lot of app yeah. companies, yeah. but they come and go and come and go. They don't earn very yeah. much money. Yeah. Uh, but the next new thing is to apply all the knowledge uh, that you have for computers and software mm. and all of that into yeah. electricity or our power yeah. system and then you get the smart grid. So yeah, and we can steer it in yes. a much more optimized way than today. Yeah. Today it's more kind of um, a reactive mode. You're having your base load um, yeah. and this is fed out into the, in the net. If you're having a smart grid, you can you can realize, okay, now we have a lot of wind energy coming into the system because there's a depression coming in. Um, so we yeah. probably can lower the effect of the nuclear power plants. And we know it's going to be very cold tonight, so a lot of people will be using it. So we can adjust our energy production to the need rather than the other way around. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Really, 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 yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's also happening. I think there's been, we work a lot with children and young people also, uh -huh. and I, I, I feel that there's been like the last t years, there's been kind of a, a lack of, um, um, of this like, when I grew up I knew we had uh, resources and that you shouldn't waste, there was big mm. projects saving the rain for a, a lot of these things. And for some years, I've been explaining that like, young people really don't have the uh, as attachment to this thing about recycling. They don't have one. The, the same understanding or, or um, concern about ah, okay. uh, yeah. using some resources. Mm -hmm. And I think this stuff is gonna bring that back because, like he said too, we're finally like really realizing that we are depending on nature for this. Yeah. So if you know now it's winter, oh, it's really, it's more wind power now, water power, or yeah. spring it's sun power. You yeah. you're suddenly coming yeah. aware. We're coming back to nature in a way yeah. through technology, which is kind of. But that's all. I yeah. think we are a very energy-dependent society, and mm. uh, coming from this cathedral thinking, for us, energy is. I mean, we we have it, we use it, we and take it for granted. we take it for yeah. granted, and we think <laughs> it is an, an infrastructure that should be provided yeah. for us. Yeah. But if we're coming more natural, nature dependent, and then we will realize, okay, it is not blowing and there's uh, no sun out. We do not have any wind power. We do not have any solar energy but that's fed uh, into the system. Yeah. But the then maybe we have to lower our electricity yeah. consumption. But yeah. and right, if, right if now, I think society really prepared to do <coughs> so. That's true. But today, mm. I think this is something that's so frustrating for me, because um, as a consumer mm. of energy, of Vattenfall's energy, for instance, uh, you know, I, I could see the rain just pouring for days and weeks, mm. and they say, "Well, sorry, guys." The price is rising because we have too much water in our supplies or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the sun goes up and it, it, <laughs> I, feel I have no control whatsoever yeah. It, yeah. on my own. So somehow what I'm getting back to is it would be wonderful for me to say, okay, well, I won't turn on the my heating until October. I will freeze and put blankets yeah, on. Yeah. But, but I know that but I the last two that. winters, when it was really, really cold and it was full of news in the newspaper, electricity yeah. prices rose, our nuclear power plants stood still, yeah. there was no water. What happened? Nothing. People did not react to the price signal. They used were, exactly the same amount of energy. They used exactly the same really? amount of Yes. So there was no change in, in human behavior that says, but I mean, maybe, it was, it was maybe, freaking cold. Yes, <laughs> but maybe, just maybe, this is mm. because people like me don't feel that they can have an impact themselves. If I could, you know, turn the knob yeah. somewhere in my house, say, well, okay, I choose to have a cold house now. I turn it down and I could but see my do, consumption go yeah. down. I can't. Today. But this is a small sustainable steps that would make a difference yeah. that you would not have 20 or 24 degrees inside your house, yeah. but maybe only 18 or 19 degrees. Yeah. And if everybody had this, we would we would use a lot less that, energy. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that mm. I as an individual need to see that. I need to see that uh, effect of my 
Uh, my yeah, own you want to catch you want to I want to see the I, I can't it's too yeah. big for me to say well if I and 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 yeah. the other one and a half million yeah. years we but in, this in is a, this is the, the same thing yeah. yeah. you know. but, but this is electricity price <laughs> and what you're doing for the environment I think <laughs> this is an, <laughs> we can come into this open market dis the discussion which yeah. is really yeah. fed by um, what is uh, the supply and the need what the thing is outside which is driving the market the price is not set by us but it's market driven yeah. yeah but if you really want to lower your consumption and by that your energy bill then it's just turn it down for a few degrees and then you're already making a difference and if a lot many people do that this will have a large impact yeah but maybe this is a small it, step thinking, uh, yeah, I, I think. I agree, yeah. I agree, and, and I mean, I, I, we think in, in those terms, uh, but I, I think it would be more, have a greater impact for mm. many more people if you could have a direct correlation between your own behavior, your choices when it comes mm. to uh, the level of energy consumption in your house and the effect on, well, it doesn't have to be the price. It could also be, you know, okay, look at that. You Now you're in the green. <laughs> you're yeah, but then you're coming. Yeah. 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 You can just excuse me. We're, we're about to uh, <laughs> help my wheel. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no just don't three just minutes. can't do that uh, now. Uh, three or four minutes, and then we'll start again with the, with the talks and the, the films. Do you want us to shut up now? No, not at all. You've got three minutes. Don't <laughs> okay. worry, Pia. Don't worry, yeah. Pia. Uh, just to inform you that we've had, uh, I think he said, 147 people watching live. Uh, your little uh, yeah. table tour. Oh. So, uh, yeah. so, hello world. Right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, three minutes, round up, and then we'll start again. Okay? okay. Cool. Right. Thank you very much for participating. Thank, Thank you. you. Long, Thank difficult you. English yeah. word, that one. <laughs> <laughs> but then you're coming back to this little monitor system. So you I think the monitoring system yeah. will work. I think it, it makes the whole saving part fun. Yes. Yes, but are they too, I agree. Yeah, are yeah, they they too be expensive then? Because they are out on the market, they're different uh, producers. But so. who's paying for them? I mean, uh, you maybe, as a consumer. Yeah, I think. but I'm saying maybe that shouldn't be the case. Yeah. Maybe somebody else should pay for them and uh, rely on the fact that if I get them installed in my house, I will actually contribute to lowering the energy consumption. It will benefit. I, yeah, 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 exactly. So uh, it's like the HP printers. I mean, you, you don't pay the price what, for the cost of, no, of no, the printer. I know, you pay yeah. the price for the ink. For the oh, ink. Yeah. And yeah. it could be the same here. Who's paying for it? Uh, who would That's pay not for very that? sustainable but, but if you're throwing away all the printers. <laughs> wouldn't want to pay for this. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, if I were what Butterfall, I wouldn't supply everybody with that. No, no, but I'm thinking society might yeah. benefit yeah. from it. I mean, there yeah, yeah. might be some other stakeholder yeah. that might benefit from yeah, the like fact that... Yeah, like having a mm. fire watch in your house, actually. Exactly. It's yeah. Yeah. Good the thing energy watch yeah. <laughs> instead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah all right. Mm. So, c c can I finish this discussion by... Uh, Giving my card. And yes. 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 I don't have a card. I, I, I enjoy this Since discussion. We, we are uh, collectively, but we do everything together, and we have yeah. the same. You know, I have them can, in can my. Can you understand? I think. I'm from the paper business. Can you understand the the power of changing cards in paper? Yeah, yeah. I love it. But this yeah. is uh, this is 1900. You know. Thing yeah, I have to pick my one up no, in no, the no, bag. No, because I really wanted the more really paper we get now, the more power the paper has, because we don't have that much paper around us. I sit in my office like this. <laughs> but, but do you live in a community? Or we, what? No, we, we did that we before, it. but... Uh, we tried it for a couple I, of years. Yeah. Now we have but families. You gave up? No, we grew up. I, think. <laughs> <laughs> I did it myself. We didn't give up. We're still there. You yeah, know, we're in the same location. I was just very curious. Because You're really I did welcome it. if you want to come by. Well, I did it myself, yeah. and it was one of the it's the best experience. Best. Yeah, yeah it's perfect. I love, the, I love the thing. And then but, you Germany, know, with girlfriends and kids. Yeah. And yeah. Stuff, but even then, it would be quite good. In Germany, they they constructed uh, living areas yeah. in the that way that yeah. you have like a couple of families that yeah, live together. I'm really onto these ideas. It's just that you need a different different type of housing yeah. for this, but uh, but there are not so many uh, opportunities in yeah, Stockholm. They're, they're constructing new areas yeah. that are uh, yeah. made like small well, you, you communities for families.